In this video, I will show you how you can easily copy a data table from another workbook. So this workbook contains the data table that we will copy later and let me close it for now. But note that the worksheet name in this workbook where the table is named sales orders. We will be using that in the code later. And this workbook is our primary Excel tool and we will write the VBA code here. So let's open the VBA editor, insert a new module. And let's create a new procedure. I will name this copy data from another oops, workbook. And then let's use an option explicit function. And these functions will restrict us from using variables without declaring them first. And here in our procedure, let's declare two workbook variable. I will name the first one MWB and the second one as DWB. So MWB variable will represent our primary Excel tool or this workbook and the DWB variable will represent the workbook from which we will copy the data table. So I'll just put a comment data workbook and then let's set the main workbook using the set keyword set MWB equals to this workbook. So that every time we need to access this workbook, we just need to use the MWB variable. And in the back end, what we will be doing is opening the Excel file that contains the data. And before we can do that, we need to know the files path first. So let me declare a variable for the file path. I will just name that file path and it should be of type string. And set that file path variable equals to in VBA, there is a function application that yet open file name, and this function opens a dialog window where you can select a file and VBA will capture the path of the selected file. So let's use that function here. And I will use a debug.print to show you how this works and indicate that variable and also make sure to open the immediate window you can do that by pressing ctrl g and now let's run select the file and here you can see the target file path after getting the path we can set our data workbook variable so set the data workbook set the wb is equals to and we will use the workbooks that open function and indicate the path of the file, which is our file path variable. And let's run from here to show you what it does. Again, click run, select the file. And here you can see that it opens the source workbook. So now we can see the sales order sheet and then the name of this workbook is table data. We can also declare a worksheet variable to use as a reference for copying the data table. So I will name it um, data sh, which stands for data sheet and it should be of type worksheet. Then I will set this variable using the worksheet name, which is the sales order. But first we need to uh, access the workbook, which is the DWB and then sheets and then the name of the sheet which is sales orders and now that we have references to the workbook and worksheet let's write the code for copying the data table i will use the uh, current region function to do that range a1 that current region that copy and then let's paste the table into our workbook tool let me just add a comment here and then here is to paste the data table so we will paste that to our worksheet let me close this first so our I will access the uh, workbook variable first which is the MWB and then use the worksheet name which is uh, this my tool and then indicate where I want to paste the data and that should be the range A1 then use paste special paste special and then Excel 
paste all. So Excel paste all is one of the option for pasting data. Using paste all option, uh, it will include the formatting of the data. And after pasting the data, we need to close the workbook file where we copy the data. So to do that, we just need to write um, data or DWB that close. And here we need to uh, indicate if we want to save changes. But since we just copy data from the file, we can set this to false. And let's run to test. So run, select the file. And here we go. We successfully copied the data table from another workbook. And it also closed the workbook where we copied the data from. And we can also add a shape button to make this tool like a real tool. To do that, we need to add a shape. Oops, not that shape. This one. And do some formatting. Or select data. I will just do a quick formatting here. And then right click to assign the macro or the procedure we created, which is the copy data from another workbook. And let's uh, delete this table first and move out. Oops, uh, sorry. Let's move this uh, button here. Click run, select the file, and we got the same result. Another thing, if you do not want to see what's happening in the back end, like the part where BVA opens the Excel file we selected, you can use the function application screen updating and set it to false. So to do that, let's open the BVA editor. You need to place that code before the workbooks that open code. So here, just write application that screen updating equals to false. And then make sure to set it back to true before the procedure ends. Application that screen updating is equals to true. And now let's delete the data first again. Delete. Let's move this button. Select the file. And there you go. So here, it, um, if you don't want to see what's happening in the back end, you can add that code. And you may you might also notice that it's a bit faster compared to the uh, compared to the code without using that function. And that is all for this video. If you have any questions or topic that you want me to cover, please put that in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And see you in the next BBA video.